Have you ever wondered how a person with over 10 years of experience writes code compared to freshers or those with little experience? Here, I have two example codes, one written with average coding skills and another by an experienced developer. Let's dive into these examples. But first, remember, today is a nice day. These codes both calculate the average grades of students and produce the same result. Our goal is to go from bad code to good code. So let's get started. In the initial code, multiple loops are used to perform separate tasks. Let's begin by consolidating these with built-in array methods like .filter and .map. Next, replace the sorting loop with .sort for better readability and efficiency. Instead of a loop to create a names array from filtered students, we use .map to simplify the process. To sum grades, rather than using a manual loop, we'll use .reduce for a more functional approach, directly summing student grade values. We handle the case of an empty array by checking sorted students.length, which makes the code more robust. Finally, we add a check to ensure students is an array, and we handle an empty array by returning default values. This adds robustness and prepares the function for real-world scenarios where input might vary. This is a simple example, and these are simple changes, but applying these kinds of improvements to large-scale projects boosts efficiency and makes the code cleaner and easier to read. Follow these practices to become a great coder in the long run.